Hi friends. I'm back with you today to do some more writing. We need to go back into our writing folders and think of how we will add more details to our personal narrative ideas. So just to review, our personal narratives came from all of the thinking that we did to try to choose a great story. So the first thing that we did was we made a circle map. We started to brainstorm all different places that we've been and things that we might have done or important events that might have happened to you. And as you learned yesterday, the things that we really could narrow down to make a personal narrative from are something called a small moment, something that really happened to us and that it's a tiny little idea and we can help stretch that idea out. So I had all of these ideas here, and then the next thing I needed to do was I needed to organize them before I could figure out which one made the most sense to me to be my best personal narrative idea. So after I did that, I came up with this one. The place was in my home, and my dog Spencer ran out of my gate. That's a really tiny moment in time where I remember opening that door and he ran right out. So that's the memory that I decided to choose to write my narrative about. And then what we needed to do was we needed to tell our teachers what our story choice was. And we wrote that in a complete sentence. My personal narrative will be about when my dog ran out of the gate. So the next thing we need to do is stretch out this moment. Think about all of the different things that happened during that time so that I can start to put together many details about my personal narrative. And when you stretch things out and you add more, that's a word that we say is called elaborate. And elaborate means to make something fancy and stretch it out and really make it interesting with lots and lots of details. So today, our job will be to elaborate on our original story sentence about what our personal narrative will be about. We need to stretch this out and give lots of details about that story. But we're going to do that in a special way today. We will write each sentence on its own line. So watch me as I come up with my ideas for my personal narrative story. So the first thing I want to think about is how was I feeling? Hmm, I was shocked when he ran out. So I think I want that to be my first sentence. I'll start here with a capital I, finger space, was, everyone knows how to write was, shocked Ooh, I can actually say I was shocked he ran out yeah that's definitely how I was feeling I was shocked he ran out that is my first detail and I'm going to draw a line to separate it from my next one. Okay, so what happened next? Or what's something else I remember from this time that Spencer ran out of the gate? Oh, I know, we opened the door when the bell rang. So let me write that sentence. We opened the door when, oh, out of space, coming right back here, the bell rang. And that's the end of my sentence, and I'll put a period. And now let me put another line to separate that. All right, friends. I would like you to go back to your sentence where you told your teachers what you will be writing about. And then what you will do is start to write out all of those ideas and put a line in between each of them separately. And I'll show you in a bit what we will do with that. Hi friends, I'm back. And this time I wanted to show you a picture of what Spencer looked like when he was a puppy. 
this was a year ago when we got him and we brought him home and he was super tiny and he really didn't know what was going on. He didn't listen to commands. So when we called him, he had no idea what we were saying. And that's when we got into this big trouble of him running out of the gate and almost getting hit by a car. So if you look back at my writing, you'll see I started to elaborate. That means stretch out all of my ideas and write them in complete sentences. Let me share with you what everything I wrote, everything I could think about my story. I was shocked when he ran out. We opened the door when the bell rang. He ran out the front gate. The pizza delivery guy left the gate open. He ran into the street. I called him and he did not come. There's so much more I wanted to say, so I went to a second page. Don't write on the back and you'll find out tomorrow why. So I go to my second page and look at what I wrote here. I went inside to get treats. A car was coming down the street. He finally came for the treats. He did not get hit by the car, exclamation point there, because I was excited that that didn't happen. He did not get hit by the car. Oh, and this is me calling for him. Spencer, treats, treats. We caught him and brought him back in. So here is how I elaborated on my original small moment little idea that I want to stretch out to make for a really interesting personal narrative story. So you go back to your sentence that you wrote yesterday and you start to write out all the different ideas and separate them with a line in between each of them. And tomorrow you'll find out why we're doing that. Okay, go have fun.